Wyndham is a market town and civil parish in the South Norfolk district of Norfolk, England, 12. Three miles southwest of Norwich off the A11 road to London. The River Tiffey runs through. The parish, one of Norfolk's largest, includes rural areas to the north and south, with hamlets of Sudden, Silfield, Spooner Row, and Wattlefield. It had a population of 14,405 in 2011, of whom 13,587 lived in the town itself. New build houses on the outskirts of Wyndham the community developed during the Anglo-Saxon period and expanded with the establishment of a priory in 1107 and a market in 1204. Industrially, Wyndham became known as a center of wood turning and brush making, retaining its brush factories until the late 20th century. New housing to the north and east of the town center brought rapid expansion. Dual carriageways for the A11 and the development of rapid rail links to Norwich and Cambridge means Wyndham is now a commuter town. Major local employers include the headquarters of Norfolk Constabulary and a Lotus Cars factory at nearby Hethel. The ancient centre, much damaged in a fire of 1,615, contains landmarks and listed buildings that include the twin-towered Wyndham Abbey. Modern Wyndham continues to grow. The current Local Authority Action Plan envisages building 2,200 new homes by 2026, while promoting it as a forward-looking market town which embraces sustainable growth to enhance its unique identity and sense of community. The uncertain, Anglo-Saxon origins of the name probably consist of a personal name such as Wigman or Women, with Ham meaning village or settlement, or Ham meaning a river meadow. The place has been referred to as Wyndham on occasions. The site where Wyndham stands shows evidence of occupation from the earliest period of human settlement in Norfolk. Pot boilers and burnt flint have been found in nearby fields, as have flint axe heads, scrapers and many other objects. Evidence of the Bronze Age appears in a number of ring ditches, enclosures and linear crop marks. Objects found include an arrowhead, fragments of rapiers, assorted metal tools and pottery shirts. Iron Age artifacts were investigated systematically while the A11 bypass was being built in the early 1990s. There are post holes, quarries and evidence of iron smelting and bone working. Objects from the period include coins, jewelry and pottery. Roman remains include an isled structure and a copper alloy metalworking site. A Roman road from Venta Isnorm to Watton and beyond is visible as crop marks. Large numbers of coins and pottery sherds have been found, as have personal items such as brooches, cosmetic tools and a duck figurine. Few Saxon buildings survive, although excavation showed a sunken featured building with early and middle Saxon pottery. Remains of a possible late Saxon church were discovered during excavations at Wyndham Abbey in 2002. By 1086, Wyndham had 376 households, which put it among the top 20% of settlements recorded in Doomsday. The land was held by two feudal lords, William the Conqueror and William de Warren. The Saxon church made way for a new priory in 1107, which evolved over the centuries into the Wyndham Abbey seen today. Earthworks at Moot Hill are probably a medieval ring work dating between 1088 and 1139. It is on the Historic England's Heritage at Risk Register. The first market charter came from King John in 1204, although an earlier market was probably held. The charter was renewed by Henry VI in 1440 and a weekly market is still held on Fridays. Wyndham Market Cross In September 2017 Wyndham Abbey was dissolved in 1538. Elisha Ferrers, the last abbot, became vicar of Wyndham, and the remaining church buildings remained in use as the parish church. Robert Kett led a rebellion in 1549 of peasants and small farmers against enclosure of common land. His force of scarcely armed men held the city of Norwich for six weeks until defeated by the king's forces. He was hanged at Norwich Castle. Ketz Oak, ostensibly the rallying point of the rebellion, can be seen on the B1172 road between Wyndham and Heatherset, part of an earlier main road to London. Bridewell Street In September 2017 the town suffered a major fire beginning on Sunday June 11, 1615. Losses included the Market Cross, the Vicarage, the Town Hall and the Schoolhouse. Buildings that survived include the Green Dragon Inn. Thereafter, 327 inhabitants, some 55% of residents at the time, made claims for lost goods and houses. The Register of St. Andrew's Church in Norwich records that John Flotter and others were executed for arson on December 2, 1615. Rebuilding varied in pace. A new market cross was completed in 1617, but in 1621 there were still some 15 properties to be rebuilt. In 1695, 
The Attleboro Road was the second British turnpike built, predated only by the Great North Road. In 1785, a prison was built in line with the ideas of the prison reformer John Howard. The first in England to have separate cells for prisoners, it was widely copied there and in the United States. It now serves as Wyndham Heritage Museum. The collapse of the woolen industry in the mid-19th century led to poverty. In 1836 there were still 600 hand looms, but by 1845 only 60. The town became a backwater in Victorian times, untouched by development elsewhere. The Norwich and Brandon Railway opened in 1845 and a branch north to Durham and Wells next the sea in 1847. Another branch opened in 1881 ran south to the Great Eastern Main Line at Fornset. The murders at Stanfield Hall occurred on November 28, 1848. In 1943, a military hospital at Morley was handed to the United States Army Air Forces. Over 3,000 patients were treated there after D-Day. It was later converted for use by Wyndham College. For much of the 20th century, there were two brush factories together employing up to 1,000 people. They both closed in the 1980s and the land was turned over to housing. Wyndham has a town council responsible for local matters laid down by law, including a role in urban planning. It has 14 members elected every four years. The next local elections are due in May 2023. Wyndham divides into four wards, North, East, Central, and South. Spooner Row, but within the parish of Wyndham, elects its own community council. Wyndham Civil Parish falls in the district of South Norfolk, returning six district councillors. It currently has two Liberal Democrat district councillors Julian Halls and Suzanne Mary Nixon, who are also town councillors, along with their colleagues CLLRS Annette James and Penny Hubble. The remainder of the town councillors are conservatives. In county council elections, the north part, with the town centre, returns one councillor to Norfolk County Council as Wyndham Electoral Division. The southern part elects a county councillor as part of Forho Electoral Division. For much of the 20th century, Wyndham belonged to the South Norfolk Parliamentary Constituency. After a boundary review, Wyndham was moved to the Mid-Norfolk Constituency. At 52 degrees 34 12 and 1 degrees 6 57. 60, Aithnan Wihamsun. 57,000 degrees north 1. 116000 degrees E, 52. 57,000, 1. 116,000, and 91 miles north northwest of London, Wyndham stands 134. 5 feet above sea level, 9 miles southwest of Norwich, at the confluence of two small rivers. The largely rural parishes around it include Heatherset, Hethel, Ashwellthorpe, Bunwell, Wicklewood, Crownthorpe, and Rampelingham. The market town of Attleboro lies to the southwest. Wyndham has a temperate maritime climate, like much of the British Isles, with relatively cool summers and mild winters. There is regular but generally light precipitation throughout the year. Wyndham was struck by an F1-T2 tornado on November 23, 1981, as part of the record-breaking nationwide tornado outbreak on that day. Wyndham's topography is marked by its river meadow and flat, low-lying agricultural landscape, much like the rest of East Anglia. The parish has an area of 17. 11 square miles. The geology is based on chalk, with a layer of boulder clay laid down in the last ice age. The River Tiffy, flowing north, forms a boundary between the built-up town center and the rural southern part of the parish. The built environment of Wyndham's town center is marked by early modern town houses and a number of buildings that survived the 1615 fire, including Wyndham Abbey. Much of the center forms a conservation area with numerous listed buildings. Beyond the center lie 20th and 21st century housing estates of mainly detached and semi-detached properties. There are trading and industrial estates along the route of the A11, which passes northeast through the south of the parish. The heavy rail Brecklin line crosses the parish in the same direction. The rest of the parish is largely arable farmland. The parish has one of the largest areas in Norfolk. It includes swaths to the north and south of the town, including the hamlets of Sutton, Silfield, Spooner Row, and Wattlefield. The United Kingdom Census 2001 gave Wyndham a total resident population of 12,539 and a population density of 733 per square mile. By 2011, the population had risen to 14,405, with a density of 840 per square mile. Wyndham has an average age of 41. 8. In 2011, 94. 5% of the population were white British, 1. 
1% Asian, 0. 5% White Irish and 0. 3% Black. Christianity accounts for 60. 3% of the population, while 29. 9 declare no religious affiliation. There are small populations of Muslims, Buddhists and Hindus. The 2011 census showed 72. 6% of the adult population economically active, 2. 9% unemployed and 16. 8% retired. The population is well educated, 27% have post-18 qualifications. The following table outlines the population change in the town since 1801, with slow growth, then decline in the 19th century, followed by recovery and rapid growth by the end of the 20th century. The Wyndham town sign Wyndham is a commuter town mainly for Norwich, Cambridge, and London. The 2011 census reported as the commonest employment sectors the wholesale and retail trade, health and social work and education. A major employer is Norfolk Constabulary. There is a retail area centered on the market square, with national chain branches and independent shops and businesses. Traditionally, Wyndham was a center of wood turning and brush making, a spigot and spoon feature on the town sign to mark this. Major brush factories appeared, with railway sidings, sawmills and engineering workshops. These closed in late 20th century and were developed as housing. Wyndham Heritage Museum in September 2017 Wyndham War Memorial is a 7. 5-meter stone obelisk above an octagonal three-stepped base, at the junction of Vicker Street, Town Green, and Middleton Street. Unveiled on July 24, 1921, and updated after World War II, it recalls 189 military and civilian deaths in the two world wars. It is a grade 2 listed feature. Wyndham Abbey, founded in 1107, is a grade I listed building. Originally a Benedictine priory, it became an independent abbey in 1449. During this period the two-tower design evolved. The east tower was built first to an octagonal design and the west tower completed in 1498. The abbey was dissolved in 1538, after which many of its buildings were demolished. Their remains, including the surviving arch of the chapter house, are scattered around the church. The open land to the south of the church, above further remains of the medieval abbey, is a scheduled monument. The east end of the church was demolished at the dissolution. The surviving 70 meters long building is about half the original length. The remainder survived the dissolution and continued in use as the local Church of England Parish Church. Some elements of the original Norman architecture are visible externally, while internally a 15th century hammer beam roof and a rear doss by Ninian Comper can be seen. Cavic House, a grade I listed building, dates from the early 18th century. It is a red brick building with painted coins and some original interior decoration. It had fallen into disrepair by 1999, but has since been restored. The nearby Cavic House farmhouse, built in the early 18th century, is a grade II listed building. Beckett's Chapel is thought to have been founded in the late 12th century by the son of William Dobigny and founder of Wyndham Abbey. The current chapel dates largely to about 1400, when it was rebuilt. In the post-Reformation period it was turned into a school and also used for a time as a lockup for remand prisoners. Restoration in 1873 was followed by use as a public hall, a school and Wyndham's library. In 1999, a plaque was attached to mark the 450th anniversary of Kett's Rebellion. In 2008, it became Wyndham Arts Center. Original elements of the chapel, including an arch-braced hammerbeam roof, are still visible inside. It is a grade I listed building. In 2018, it was placed on Historic England's Heritage at Risk Register, as it suffers from damp and is slowly decaying. The Market Cross was built in 1617 to 1618 after the original was destroyed in the fire of 1615. It is a timber-framed octagonal building with an upper floor raised above an open undercroft. It served as the center of administration of the town's weekly market. In the late 19th century it was converted into a subscription reading room. After restoration in 1989, it reopened as the town's tourist information center. It is a grade I listed building. The six grade II listed buildings in Wyndham are the Green Dragon Pub, Kimberley Hall, Priory House, Stanfield Hall, the Chestnuts and Three Market Street. A sign about the Lizard Conservation Area the former jail, known as Wyndham Bridewell, was built in 1787. It houses the Wyndham Heritage Museum. Having once been a police station and a law court, it is a grade 2 listed building. Wyndham Railway Station, built in 1844, 
retains much of its atmosphere, including a timber signal box for semaphore signaling from 1877, in use until 2012. Almost derelict by 1988, the site was transformed by the local businessman and railway enthusiast David Turner, who restored the buildings and ran a brief encounter-themed restaurant on Platform 1 before retiring in 2011. The station was voted Best Small Station in the 2006 National Rail Awards. Both station and signal box are Grade 2 listed buildings. Tolls Meadow is a nature reserve and wildlife site with footpaths along the River Tiffy. Wildlife there includes kingfishers, herons, roe deer and water voles. The Lizard is a conservation area and wildlife site managed locally as a piece of informal, natural countryside for the general benefit and enjoyment of the people of Wyndham. The Tiffy trails offer accessible walks, interpretation boards, wood carvings, benches and way markers. Flint was used in many types of buildings around Wyndham, including this 19th century crossing keeper's hut on the Mid-Norfolk Railway. The Brecklin line runs through the parish, with stations at Wyndham and Spooner Row. Typical in the day is one train an hour east to Norwich and west to Cambridge. Two trains a day run to Liverpool Lime Street. Direct services to Stansted Airport were due to begin in December 2019. The Mid-Norfolk Railway operates a station at Wyndham Abbey for heritage services to Dereham along a closed branch to Wells. The town once had a third station, Spinks Lane, which closed shortly after opening in the 19th century. Buses by First Norfolk and Suffolk offer at least a 30-minute service to Heatherset, Norwich, and Attleboro. Connect Bus serves the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital, Norwich, and Wotton. National Express Coach services are available to London. The A11 trunk road from Norwich to London once ran through the town centre. It was rerouted onto Hart's Farm Road and Norwich Road until a dual carriageway bypass was opened in 1996. Sections of the old A11 were reclassified as B1172 and now link Wyndham and Heatherset. A cycle path along the B1172 connects Wyndham to Norwich. The B1135 passes the northern edge of the town on its way to Durham. Wyndham Town Football Club, founded in 1883, is based at King's Head Meadow. The senior men's team plays in the Anglian Combination Division 1 and has topped it five times, most recently in 2017-18. The club last won the Norfolk Senior Cup in 1888-89. Ian Gibson MP played for the club in the 1965-66 season. The senior women's team plays in the Eastern Region Women's Football League, which it won in 2017-18. In the same season it won the County Cup, which it successfully defended in 2018-2019. Wyndham Town United Football Club, based at Ketts Park, is one of Norfolk's largest youth teams, with over 600 players across 22 teams. Wyndham Rugby Club was founded in 1972 at the Foster Harrison Memorial Ground on Tuttle's Lane. A new ground, Barnard Fields, opened in 2018. The senior men's team plays in the London 2 North East League, winning the Norfolk Plate in 2015-16. The senior women's team, Wyndham Wasps, plays in the Championship 2 Midlands League. Wyndham Dell Bowls Club was a founder member of Norfolk Bowls Association in 1936. It has won the Bales Cup and the County League more often than any other club in Norfolk, 12 and 15 times respectively. The members include the 2002 Commonwealth Games gold medalist, John Ottaway. Browick Road School, Wyndham Wyndham Grammar School was founded in 1567 by the Norwich-born Archbishop of Canterbury, Matthew Parker. It was originally housed in Beckett's Chapel, then moved to Priory House, and closed in 1903. Sillfield School opened in 1876 and closed in 1993. It is now a private dwelling. Wyndham High Academy is located near the town centre. Wyndham College, one of 36 state boarding schools in England and the largest of its type, stands just outside the parish in Morley. The four state primary schools are Ashley Primary School and Nursery, Browick Road Primary and Nursery School, Robert Kett Primary School, and Spooner Row Primary School. Policing in Wyndham is provided by Norfolk Constabulary, which is headquartered in the town. Statutory Emergency Fire and Rescue Service is provided by the Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service, which has a station in London Road. The nearest NHS hospital is Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital in Norwich, administered by Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. In the town itself are Wyndham Health Center and Wyndham Medical Center offering general practice care. Ambulance services are provided by East of England Ambulance Service. Waste management is coordinated by South Norfolk Council. 
Locally produced inert waste for disposal is processed into fuel for use in combined heat and power facilities in Europe. Wyndham's distribution network operator for electricity is UK Power Networks, there are no power stations in the town. Drinking water and wastewater are managed by Anglian Water. There is a water treatment plant to the northwest of the town. Plaque commemorating links with Voditsa Wyndham Heritage Museum, in the former prison, has permanent displays on Robert Kett, brush making in the museum building. Occasional displays are renewed every season. Wyndham Arts Center, in Beckett's Chapel, runs a summer program of free exhibitions by local and regional artists. Regular arts and theater events take place in Wyndham Central Hall. The town's pubs include the Green Dragon, one of England's oldest, open since about 1371. The Cross Keys Inn in the marketplace occupies an early 17th century Grade II listed building. Wyndham Music Festival, begun in 1996, runs mostly free summer events at several venues. It runs a midsummer jazz picnic at Beckettswell every June. Occasional events include a carnival and a winter Dickensian evening run by the local Lions Club. Wyndham currently has no twin town. Links were developed in the 1990s with Voditsa and local dignitaries from the Czech Republic visited Wyndham. A plaque on the town hall commemorates the links between the two. The many parks and playgrounds include Tolls Meadow and Ketz Park. An artificial 3G pitch, part funded by South Norfolk Council and the Premier League, was opened in 2019 by Norwich City player Grant Holt. The public library moved from Beckett's Chapel to purpose-built premises in 2008. It hosts events to encourage learning and reading, such as weekly bounce and rhyme sessions. Wyndham Methodist Church The two Church of England churches are Wyndham Abbey, at first dedicated to the Virgin Mary but after the martyrdom of St. Thomas Beckett in 1170, his name was added, and a chapel of ease, Holy Trinity Church, and Spooner Row. The building of a 17th-century Quaker Meeting House Chapel Lane survives as a private residence. Fairland United Reformed Church was founded in 1652. The current facade dates from 1877. It has regular Sunday services. A primitive Methodist chapel built in Silfield Street in 1867 is now a private residence. A Wesleyan Methodist chapel built in Damgate Street in 1879 is now used by Freemasons. Wyndham Methodist Church was built in 1870. Wyndham Baptist Church has been at its current Queen Street site since 1910. It holds regular Sunday services and a daily community cafe. The Roman Catholic Church of Our Lady and St. Thomas of Canterbury, built in 1952, contains a memorial to World War II prisoners and internees of the Japanese who did not survive their imprisonment. An annual memorial service is held every May. A digital and print archive of 61,000 names of those who died is maintained by the Church. The two churches of the Evangelical Alliance are Hope Community Church in Aden Road and a live church which meets at Central Hall. There is a Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses in Hearts Farm Road. Wyndham people are sometimes known as Wymondhammers. The murders at Stanfield Hall were depicted in the 1948 film Blanche Fury. The now-closed brief encounter-themed restaurant at Wyndham Railway Station featured in Mark Greenstreet's 1996 comedy film Caught in the Act, starring Sarah Crow, Annette Badland, and Nadia Sawala. The eighth in C.J. Sansom's Shardleg series of novels, Tombland, has the protagonist embroiled in Kett's Rebellion. Thanks for watching.